to a, a law enforcement class, and um, your name is? Lathan Cuevas. Okay, and it looks like you have a gun here. Is that a? It's not real. Just a real, okay. It's an airsoft gun. Okay, and, and basically, what are you guys doing today here? Uh, today we're learning about the Gilbert Core system, and uh, earlier, we, earlier today we did DUIs and stuff. That's okay. That's also what we've been learning. And this is a two-year program, law enforcement yes. program they have here. If you come over here, I'll yeah. show you what we're doing in these sure. two years. So this is what we would be doing in the two years for the first, second, third, and fourth quarter. Uh, we've pretty much gotten down to here. Okay. And yeah, so we're almost, or we're halfway done with the first quarter. Oh, so these are your standards for the first year, and then this is the second year? Yeah. Okay. And then what do most kids here want to do? Most students, they want to be police officers, military, or? Well, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh -huh. I mean, most kids, they want to go into the law enforcement program right. here. Right. And we do a lot of stuff. We do forensics. You can get into security from here. You sure. Can go, uh, you can work in prisons. You uh -huh. can become a police officer, detective. It, it doesn't matter. We do okay. everything here. Great. Great. And basically. And let me ask the teacher here real quick. Could, could the kids step out of this program in high school and go directly in the field into something? Yeah, that's why we, we focus a lot on the security aspect uh -huh. and corrections. Okay. At 18, we can get them all their state license and security. Mm -hmm. um, a good example is we partner with some local large um, organizations like Sam's Club and Walmart. Right. Where they're looking to help train our students so when they, they leave here, they can go into loss prevention and work. Last name, William, kids, William, Mr. William, so what do you, it looks like you're going to do some type of simulation here if there were a problem and you'd come in. So let's see what you guys would do and how you would. Uh... All right, you guys ready? All right, ready to go. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Seniors or juniors? I'm a junior. You're a junior. But you're all you're also registered in to a community college? No, we actually are in high school right now. Right, right. But are you are you doing college classes? Yeah, and we do a lot of college classes online. So. Uh, and you're getting credit for those college classes? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And they're, they're college classes in um, uh, law enforcement? Yes, sir. Uh, oh. It's FEMA, the um, Federal Emergency Management Agency. Federal right. Emergency Management Agency. So the main thing is, though, that, that you guys really like this, and, and it gives you a reason to come to school. Yeah, we enjoy it a lot. Right. Now, if you didn't have this at your school and they didn't offer these vocational programs like so many places in the the U.S., uh, you know, w would you probably wouldn't be as much into school, or maybe you wouldn't want to go to school. Another day of school would be Just boring. Another boring day, yeah. Uh, yeah. This makes school willing to go to. Yeah, that's great, guys. Gives us motivation. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Creation part of the the program, and you're the teacher, and, yes. and your name. What's your yeah, last my name? My name is Mr. Amity. Okay. Amity. And Mr. Amity, what? Uh, why are the kids here? What are they learning? Uh, is there, is there actually a certificate at the end? Uh, there, there's no certificate for this program right here. What they're here for? This is what we call aviation spectrum. Okay. So spectrum is just uh, I, I term it like a shotgun blast of okay. all different aviation subjects. So most of them are juniors, some seniors. This is the first year in aviation, so okay. we're going to give them a little taste of everything. What we're doing right now is air traffic control procedures. We did aerodynamics previously in the first part of the class. Okay. Half of the group also, not this group, but another class is downstairs okay. tearing engines apart so we can learn about aircraft systems. And also everything from hydraulics to engine systems and how aircraft work. Uh, and then after this year, with a lot of other different subjects, they'll have the choice. Some of them may want to go on to technical careers. So if they, the if, community college. if they choose to be a uh, an aviation mechanic, mm -hmm. can they learn that skill here or they have to go to the we community give college? We the basics and then while they're still in high school, they can do like a dual enrollment or concurrent enrollment and actually go to the community college about two miles away from here. And they'd have to do that start. after their they, school they day? They do that while they're in school. They're, they're still going to be an EBIT student, so half their day they're going to go to the community college. Oh, I see. And receive college credit, receive high school credit. And oh, okay. begin their career path towards a uh, or their training towards a. You're taken off here, and you can dial this into any airport into the U.S., right? Uh, if you want, you're just in a random airport, but you yeah, could right. dial it into a local airport here. 
Yeah. So you're taking off right now, uh, watching all your instruments, and you're taking off on a, on a little Cessna, a little training Cessna. Yeah. Cool. Why don't you turn it to the left, or bank? Bank left. Oh. So you got all different types of uh, views. Yeah. Views. See how your airplane's doing. Wow, this is really cool, man. Up and it'll have your um, direction indicator, your heading indicator, I mean, your airspeed indicator, and sometimes you just want to try to keep it at a certain level. Sure. So. And you can fly IFR2 on this, huh? Yeah, I'm basically trying on, to fly IFR on, right now, but. I'm on trying. instruments, right? Yeah, I'm just looking at my instruments, not even looking at So we're at here in the air traffic control room, simulation room. You get the controllers up here. And then what are they doing? They're telling people, and you guys are placing the, the planes down here? Yeah. Well, you can have them explain it. They're more educated. Yeah. Cool. More educated. They're training right. us. Yeah. Yeah. And how many people here want to be air traffic controllers? Anybody? Ryan. Pretty much just pilots, but you, you want to learn this part of the... Yes. Yeah. The, uh, it's because okay. Cody, you know, you want to be a controller. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to follow cool, the other coach, but set. And, and how much of the uh, program, the intro program, is in the, the air traffic control? Um, regarding, like, relation to the school? Yeah. Do they get a lot of the air traffic control in this part of the course or no? Yeah, this is where we mainly do air traffic control. Uh -huh. um, a lot of these guys are interested in being pilots, but um, we don't really care. We make them <laughs> learn this stuff anyway, so they have a perception of both sides of the flight.